I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start swinging, all right? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist, they should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? Really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? Fucking... <laughs> you know? What do you think? Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said. Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. Right? To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my God, I'll bring my own. I'll bring my own. The hell have I been doing with my life? Trying to get in shape, man. I hate going to the gym, so I decided I'd go veggie twice a week. Brutal. I can only make it till about five o'clock. Five o'clock. That's what I realized about myself. Something has to die every day in order for me to live. <laughs> Something's got to get its beak chopped off. Feather just yanked, uppercut to its jaw, just in order for me to survive. I'm trying. I saw this thing though that they said if everybody went vegan, if everybody went vegan though, it would be a vegetarian, whatever the hell they said, one of those V ones, right? And they said it would be great for the uh, for the environment, you know, because I guess there's all this cattle standing around, and when they fart, the gas goes up in the atmosphere and causes something. You know, if everybody went vegan. The air would be, if everybody drove an electric car, if everybody just had some snowshoes on. Nobody has the balls to come out and say it and just say, look, 85% of you have to go. <laughs> you know what? You're full of shit. <laughs> you are. All those feminists are full of shit, because I'm going to tell you right now, someday there's going to be, there's going to be the first woman president, which means... Which means you don't even know what her, you don't even know what her fucking platform is, and you automatically cheer. <laughs> uh, uh, it's got the same genitalia. Uh. <laughs> fucking, I'm telling you, they're not smart people. Feminists, they, they're not as smart as they're coming off. I'm telling you, someday there's going to be the first female president, which means there's going to be the first male first lady. And you wait, you fucking wait. The first time that dude opens his mouth about some political shit, you watch all these feminists throwing me, you shut the fuck up! You shut the fuck up! It is her time now. It is her time. She was elected, not you. Go pick out some plates, bitch. You are the first lady. I don't mind that people use roids. I think they should use roids because they're using themselves as guinea pigs and it'll all trickle down to us one day. And after they messed up, you know, their heads get all big. I'm saying by the time we're 80, they're gonna have like a steroid vaporizer that you can just inhale and you're gonna have abs. I'll get a full head of hair and you're gonna be banging some hot 65 year old. And it's all gonna be because of these athletes and the sacrifices that they make that no one appreciates. Those guys in the 70s, the stuff they took in the 70s. Oh, in the 70s, yeah, the steroids were like, crazy. It was like horse track. You came out with like a mane, just <laughs> slapping children around. They didn't have a mane. No one had a mane. Some Please. people would argue that. So it's good for the sport. I love it. Like I dated this girl one time. She was like really into like women's issues. So we used to always have these dumbass arguments. Like one time she came up to me and she goes, okay, explain this to me, Bill. Why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job, huh? Hmm? Hmm? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. If there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I gotta stand there with like the back of my shirt on fire going, let's go people, let's go, let's go. So that's how I look at it. That if something fucked up happens, either I can't leave or I gotta like get in the way of it to give you a head start. Like rabbit dog, run honey. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. You hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out. Like, yes, he does have a knife. Anytime there's a hostage situation, who do they negotiate for first? 
Well, at least let the women and children go. Well, what about me? Bullets hurt me too. Why the fuck do I gotta stay in the vault? Surprised feminists haven't had a problem with the French language yet. It's like, what's this gender? There's no yeah. such thing Why as gender. Why is la maison? Why is the house feminine? Is he saying that women are supposed to fucking stay, huh? If I can <laughs> cook for you? And I'm in the middle of watching the World Series, and out of nowhere, they have this moment, stand up to cancer. I'm watching a ball game, and all of a sudden, everybody stands up with, holding up a sign of somebody that they either know that's dying of cancer or died of it in the middle of the game. It's just like, what are you doing? trying to watch a game here. You know, no, there's a time and a place. Look, I know somebody. I know somebody that has died of cancer. I would never go to the movies with you and in the middle of it hit pause and be like, oh, by the way, Conan, I know this guy. He died of cancer, it was horrific. I could have lifted him up off the sheet with two fingers, it was horrible. Hey, enjoy, oh, by the way, I got molested when I was nine. Enjoy the rest of the little empathy here. Put yourself in a lesbian's shoes. Who do lesbians date? Women. Who do they do? Who do they do? They move in with women. Who do they get in relationships with? Women. Who do they eventually marry? Women. And I was thinking like, oh my God, I did that. I know what it's like to live with one of those fucking things. I know exactly what that is. It's hopeless. Trying to make them happy. Hey, I bought you the shiny thing. Did I do it right? Huh? Trying to get them to take responsibility for their actions not gonna happen. The best you're gonna get is I'm sorry, but I know what it's like to be winning a fucking argument. You're winning, you're winning, you're winning. And then they turn it around. They're crying. You're apologizing. You're thinking, what the fuck just happened? How am I losing this shit? I had you on the ropes. You feel so dumb. You gotta go for a walk. And you're just thinking, how did I lose again? And then you figure it out. It makes you feel stupid. And then you see some bald idiot with a giant orange mustache. And you're like, you know what? Why don't you take some of that shit? I think I know. I think I know how to raise a kid. You know what it is? You just, you just play catch with them. That's how you raise a kid. You play catch with them. You just talk about life. You distract them by throwing the ball. They don't even notice. You're filling their heads up with your theories. <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't do it the old school way, the way your parents used to. Sit down across from you. You want to tell me about your day? Right? What's that, son? Ah, we're not going to church today. Fuck that. That's <laughs> ah, all a bunch of bullshit. God's everywhere, but I got to go down there to see him. Really? And he's mad at me down there and I owe you money. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's not down, it's in here. They try to take it, it's down, it's in here. You do something good, you feel good. You do something bad, you feel bad, you know? Unless you're like a sociopath and you don't feel shit. Unless you got somebody duct taped upside down in your apartment, you know? And, and if you do something like that, I want you to feel like you can come to me, you know? <laughs> yeah, come to me, confess all of that. We'll go down to the precinct, we'll tell them everything. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you in. This isn't fucking Dexter. What are you, you mind? <laughs> I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes, right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. <laughs> they had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know, uh, why is that? Uh, that is a conundrum. I have, I have no idea. Literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets. <laughs> Nobody is going to women's soccer games. You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena. 1,500 people show up. That's not a good night. The promoter lost his fucking ass on that gig. So let's talk, uh, let's talk white women here, shall we? <laughs> Let's talk white women. White women, you're amazing. Amazing your accomplishments over the last few years. I gotta tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, generals around the world should be analyzing this. Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color, not getting opportunities, the at-bats that they deserved, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, White women swung their Gucci booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. 
I don't know how they did it. I've never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. Yo, let's talk about a real issue at hand. Trash piling up, it's time to take a stand. From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups. Our planet's is drowning, it's time to wake up. Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste. But where does it go? It's not a race. To the land, fill a mountain of despair. But we can change course, show that we care. Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our acts, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand With my SUV and my heated seats You have no idea what it's like to be me Trash and white guys, the nerve Where's the camera? The nerve of you white women let me, I, listen, I don't want to speak ill of my bitches here, okay? I don't, but let's, let's go back in history here, okay? You guys stood by us toxic white males through centuries of our crimes against humanity. You rolled around in the blood muddy, and occasionally when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with a black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yeah, that's what you did. That's what you did. So why don't you shut up, sit down next to me, and take your talking to. <laughs> Thank you.